Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm back for some more Mega Man 11 action here on my channel, I guess. Laying it on the Xbox One, the One X. I think I can skip through this because I've already showed it to you once. And we're going to pick up close to where we left off, I guess. I'm not going to play that same level. I'm going to try a different one. Let's see here. Why would it... Why would it default to no? Why would it default to no? I don't want to load from this. That, that's, that's dumb. That's pointless. I don't understand that. Regardless, let's uh, go find us a different level. I think last time we tried Torch Man and didn't find it much to my liking. Or well, at least I found I was unable to beat it. So why don't we try um, Acid Man? Everything's looking good. Look at that guy. What, what stuff is this level going to give? Spiders that turn into more spiders. Alright. I just take those things out before they land. I won't have to deal with that. Alright. What happens if I land in this stuff? Nothing, apparently. Alright. Guess the more yellow turns, the more likely it is to damage me? I'm not sure. Anyway. Remember this guy? What do we got going on here? A tunnel to go in? And an underwater section with a fan blowing me to the right. Slide. So yeah. Overall, I'm liking this game so far. It's got some difficulty, but it's a Mega Man game, and I think you should go into it expecting that. Fans. Pushing me into spiky things. There we go, that's what I wanted to do. Uh, once again, I slid instead of jumping. Sniper Joe. Nope, that didn't work. Trying to get too fancy here. There we go. Apparently it doesn't make a difference what color it is. Or maybe it does. It's hard, to, it's hard for me to tell. When it's green, it shocks me a little. Not when it's yellow or red. Alright. 
think I get it. So yeah, as I may have stated in earlier um, recordings, I do have a new surround sound receiver. A Denon X3400 something something. Uh, I don't know, it's one that was recommended by um, the guys at um, My Life and Gaming for its compatibility with the OSSC. And it also has the ability to, um, it also has two HDMI outs. And I got one going into the TV and the second going into the uh, capture card. I guess I don't need that health. And yeah, it's working out pretty good for the most part so far. Ooh, almost fell. Free life. See how much that free life ends up costing me. Probably nothing. The difficulty part comes after this. We just gotta react quickly enough to the changing patterns of these mines here. Oh, all right, well. Ah, here's the mid-level boss. Is that scrubbers that it's hitting me with? Yes, I'm still not using the um, speed or power abilities, so I guess I'm not doing this game correctly. I keep getting hit by this guy's attacks. And I keep almost losing to these big mid-level bosses because I don't know what I'm doing. Good job, me. I avoided it that time. Not that time, though. Wow, I barely beat that guy. Get some health. Some of that. Alright. I'm clearly not as good as I need to be at this game. I accidentally hit that. It's already green, and I don't think it's getting any greener, so... Look at that, more health. I'll take that. Ooh, more water. 
and more spikes. Wow, I completely missed that jump. At least it's putting me right back here. Alright, can we use the dog here? Apparently not. Alright. Alright, I wasted two lives for no reason. Okay, this is going to be tricky. Yep. And it sent me back here. Okay, I think I need to use the speed. There we go. Problem is, I still use it accidentally too much. And we got more of this. Okay. I guess it's not, um, it's not blowing me to the right in this part. Still feel more comfortable using the speed ability. Actually, it's, uh, can we use that? Nope. Not really. I want to take care of this guy, otherwise it'll be a pain. Hmm. Not exactly the most riveting content here, but with those spikes being there, I really don't want to risk it. Alright, now how do I get over those spikes? Is there anything up there I can jump on? Should have seen that coming. Oh well, at least it spawned me here and not earlier. Ooh, almost fell there. I'm not going to waste my effort on that bolt. All right, let's uh, let's not make that mistake again. Actually, it's not cool around in the sky. We um. All 
There we go. All right, that's not, that doesn't look fun. Hope I don't end up saying that a lot in this game. That doesn't look fun. Okay, so speed gear and hope for the best. Of course, it helps if I can actually make that first jump. Let's try that again, shall we? I hit, I damaged my way through that somehow. The amount of damage the green goo stuff causes you is really trivial. Hey look, here's the boss. What's up with the swimming helmet guy? Picture on the left. Checkpoint! Alright, what do we got here? All right, some sort of invincibility shield. Oh, look at that. Look who's vulnerable to Blockman's attack. So yep, yeah, so Acid Man is vulnerable to Block Man's attack. Yeah, I never would have guessed that, but whatever. Alright, what does Acid Man's attack look like here? What do we get from Acid Man? We look like... Uh, green Diver. Acid Barrier. Okay. And an invincibility shield. That seems useful. Not if it's time based or if it's uh, how often you get hit based, but it seems to be sh it seems to shrink every time you get it makes contact with something. It only seems to shrink when it gets hit, so yeah. Alright. On to the next level. Um, this is interesting. Acid Man comes right after Block Man, and he's vulnerable to Block Man's attack. So I guess it means Blast Man is vulnerable to Acid Man's attack? Or is this just a coincidence? I guess we should try Bounce Man and see if he's vulnerable to that, to Blast Man's attack. How's that sound? All right. If that's correct, then I already defeated the enemy that I was vulnerable to Acid Man's attack, so... Oh well. We'll see what happens. Oops. Bouncy stage. Okay. Oh 
down. And up. All right. It's about to say, am I supposed to use a rush here or something? Nope. Basically like um, Carnival Knights from Sonic, except it's Mega Man. I was unable to get that gear. Um, forget about that if we can. Okay, that guy's just stuck in that corner, isn't he? I am unable to shoot him, because I can't seem to get the timing right. At least I got him out of that corner. Okay, that guy's getting annoying. Okay, how do I get this thing to, to function? not gonna let me do that and I don't think I can can I use rush here I can but I don't think it's gonna be good enough here let me try again and I'm also wasting my rush energy nope almost had something there. Problem is, I cannot nail down the timing for when to make these bouncy balls make me jump higher. At least I can't do it consistently. Wait, I, I think I know. I'm supposed to land on top of that thing. There we go. I, I almost had it. Nope. Just gonna keep bouncing me. Here we go. 
Um, okay. Why don't we uh, try to deal with this guy? Nope. Dag damn it. Okay. This level is trying my patience. Yeah, this is the patience trying level. This is the level where you just have to be with pure frustration, I guess. Is there any way I can just skip past that part? No? Now, I'm definitely not trying for that free life. That's anything but free as far as I'm concerned. I will take this health, though. It won't let me land on the um on the ladder. Can I land on top of that hand though? In the first hand? That's how you do that. All right. Take care of that. Okay, what you want to do is you want to avoid hitting these things at an angle because then you'll just uh, end up bouncing all over the place. And you end up doing that. So, if I could nail down the timing of when to jump it wouldn't be so difficult I really just do it for that wow I'm an idiot okay so
And that's what happens when you can't nail the timing on the jumps. At least not consistently. Alright. I keep missing these guys. Alright. Now then. I guess that's the entrance to the mid-level boss. How do I propel myself up to there? Oh, I think I know. Or maybe I don't. Well, well whatever I somehow got there. Wow, this... Okay, that's annoying. Take out the guy who's inflating the frog. And how do I get rid of these guys? Oh, they just respawn, don't they? Alright, does anything need I guess block man? Oh, you have gotta be kidding me.
All right. I'm not a fan of this section at all. All right, I'll just wait for the speed thing to cool down, and then I'll give it another try. Wait for the sky to appear. All right. That was annoying. Nope, didn't get him. Are we close to the end? I don't know if we're close or not, but we're not there. Wow, these things are going to be annoying, aren't they? Gun's going to be annoying, isn't it? No, those balloons will just damage you. They are not something you want to have around look like might be able to bounce off of them but nope I'm not sure what I'm doing that's or not doing that's not allowing me to jump through this stuff but whatever let's take out these balloons I guess Wow, what the hell? That's not, that wasn't cool. And that it's, it's just gonna do that. On the plus side, I think I'm near the boss fight, so. Maybe not, I don't know. Okay, how do I get up there? And I did that again. Yeah, this is not a fun level. It looks nice, but it is not fun. I do not have the timing on these 
bouncy balloons down at all. All right, can Rush help me here? I don't think he can. And that's annoying. I almost had an E-Tank, but then I just missed it completely and fell back down here. And I keep hitting that accidentally. Okay, it keeps bouncing me back down there, and I don't understand why. <clears throat> this is not a fun section at all. This is... This shouldn't be here. This is pointless. Yep, let's not even bother with the E-Tank. Alright, there's the boss section. Okay, what the hell... Okay, this is just a mid-boss section. Great, it's this guy again. Except it's full of bouncy stuff. He's just going to get me with that every time, because I don't know how to dodge it. Or that. There we go. At least I got rid of him. Ah... Yeah, I'm just gonna use a rush. I, I I don't care. And there was nothing I could do. There was literally nothing I could do at that point. I got an achievement at least. I don't think I can beat this level. I don't think I can beat this level, folks. That bottom pit wasn't there. It, I guess I would take care, get rid of the challenge, but still. It's the biggest problem I have is I cannot land the timing on those on the bouncy things.
I can't, I cannot nail the timing down to save my own life. That's the problem. So. See, I can do it there, but then every once in a while, it doesn't work. And that's going to be the time that I actually attempt one of these jumps. Interesting planetarium looking thing in the background. And of course, it's not done yet. Okay, really? You're, you're not going to work on that? I can't win. I cannot win. Well, I guess that's going to call it a... I'm just going to call it a day for today. Because um, it's just going to drop me back to the beginning of the stage. And I have to go to work soon. So, thanks for watching a, unfortunately, aggravating uh, episode of my playthrough through Mega Man 11. I hope, hopefully, I'll get better at that um, timing with the bouncy ball thing. But until then, I'll see you next time.